Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be taking a look at what is currently happening across the region. And so the main focus will be on the Caribbean where a trough is entering and uh, where some activities already persistent. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. And to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. And so let us go ahead Head and return to this satellite imagery and we're seeing where there is this cold front that is extended from parts of the Gulf of Mexico all the way out across the Atlantic and then across the Atlantic we definitely see some activity there is a trough in the region that is making its way toward the Caribbean and then there is some activity that is noted along the intertropical convergence zone uh, out there and also in the Caribbean and so let's take a closer look at the area and so here we're seeing it uh, we're seeing this trough here and we're definitely seeing some rotation and those showers and thunderstorms in association with it so thankfully there isn't any major convective activity going on right now but uh, that can always develop later on in the day and so uh, this is going to be enhancing the weather across sections of the lesser Antilles so uh, likely some increased showers maybe some overcast skies for some areas but we're not seeing any large areas of all of that continuous activity in terms of a big blob of activity that is there so it's really just some scattered showers and thunderstorms that are noted in the vicinity of that trough making its way to the Caribbean and as we drift more to the west we're definitely seeing a lot of activity uh, that is across the South Caribbean and so that is in association with the intertropical convergence zone and so a lot of uh, convective activity has been persistent in this area affecting areas including Nicaragua because Rica, Panama, and we also see some showers and thunderstorms across portions of northern Colombia. And so this is likely going to be resulting in all of that continuous rainfall across some areas and pairs of extensive heavy rainfall can result in flash flooding. So guys, please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe. And so uh, in terms of why the rest of the region is not really seeing too much, let's go on to this map right here, this water vapor loop, and we're definitely seeing some dry air across the region. So where we have dry air, we typically have more stable conditions. So uh, we don't typically see too much happening in terms of showers and thunderstorms. So uh, dry, stable conditions extend across the Leeward Islands, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, uh, the Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands. Jamaica and also down into the ABC Islands parts of northern Venezuela and sections of Colombia and so where we have the tr uh, the trough enter the region we're seeing where things are on the moist side so instability is where we would find the development of showers and thunderstorms and so that is exactly what's happening in that area and anywhere else where you see some, some activities such as that blob out there and also across the Caribbean we're not seeing too much dry air within that area and so in terms of possible development so we were seeing where some models were hinting at something maybe trying to develop but uh, now we're not really seeing that anymore we're seeing where the GFS is still expecting something so this is for uh, next week this is from the 00 run and uh, this is for next Wednesday and so we are seeing here where the model is expecting that something might try to form in the Caribbean a rather weak system uh, affecting sections of Nicaragua Honduras but of course that isn't guaranteed to happen and uh, as for the icon model icon is showing that we might see an increase in all that moisture not really showing any closed isobar uh, to indicate a tropical cyclone maybe trying to develop but uh, that is what the model is expecting this is for the end of this week on Saturday the 26th of the month but of course guys changes are inevitable but for now it is a breath of fresh air there are no tropical cyclones to track out there but again there is that blob of convection that is affecting some parts of the South Caribbean and then the trough that is going to be bringing some increased rainfall to sections of the lesser and sleaze and so i'll be keeping you guys updated as time goes by and though the official end of the hurricane season is in just a few days it doesn't mean that there will be absolutely no more tropical cyclones for a fact so uh, there have been off-season storms before so the chance of that happening is not completely
completely negligible. But of course, I'll be keeping you updated and not just on tropical cyclone activity, but anything that is to be affecting the Caribbean region. Of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated on that as we're going to be heading into the end of this year and into next year. And then things are going to start getting active again as we progress to the official start of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. But for now, guys, nothing too major going on and I will be be given the necessary updates as time goes by and so that is really it for now and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and remember to always be with the wise